And Michael looked very happy to be out, out there, as I'm sure he was. He typically uh, probably already cycled about 20 miles this morning, but I know Michael, so he enjoyed the weather today. Tomorrow might be a little rough for cycling because we are looking at widespread showers and storms. Now, this evening, we are seeing some light activity lifting from south to north as a warm front is actually pushing across the Sunshine State. So some light shower activity, most of it offshore now. Here's a little shower uh, near PGA Boulevard in Palm Beach Gardens, and there's some activity between Hope Sound and Stewart around Palm City region. But again, these are just light showers, nothing like what we're going to see tomorrow. So as we widen the view, there you can see we have, uh, it's a very complex system. There's uh, several areas of low pressure, several fronts that are going to be moving through over the next pretty much 48 hours. And uh, we're going to be staying unsettled until everything moves through the area. Then Wednesday looks to be our day where we're really going to see some nice weather. Current temperatures right now, Palm Beach County along the coast, mid to upper 60s. Now, if you live inland, say Okeechobee, it's 57 degrees, 59 in Belle Glade. So away from uh, the ocean, it is cooler right now, 66 Sebastian, 66 in Vero Beach. So again, it's a very complex system, but basically we're going to see a, a big line of showers and storms roll through. And then finally, a cold front clears Monday and then another one clears Tuesday. So it will take two to completely scour us out. So the line of storms looks to approach the west coast of Florida around 8 a.m. Sunday morning. It's going to quickly move across the state because by 1130, it's already in our area, and by 132 o'clock, it's well offshore. So it's going to move through quickly. Here's the Vipercast hour by hour. Overnight tonight, just some light showers moving south to north. But here comes uh, the main line, and we see the activity pushing into Okeechobee County first, then through the Treasure Coast. By 1230, in fact, things are improving on the Treasure Coast. Still, the chance for some very strong storms across the Palm Beaches take you to 130, 2 o'clock, and we start to clear things out. We get a nice break with just the possibility of a few uh, showers and storms later Later on in the evening. However, we don't clear out on Monday. Still a good chance of rain and maybe some isolated thunderstorms. We have a level one out of five chance for severe weather to our south, a level two out of five. So better chances of severe weather to our south, but we'll be watching for you and of course alert you if anything does become severe. So we're really looking at a high chance of lightning, uh, low to medium chance of flooding, high winds, gusty winds damaging, small hail possible, as well as an isolated weak tornado. So very windy as we head into a Sunday for tonight temps down to 64 degrees pretty mild tomorrow 76 windy and 80% chance of showers and storms now it won't be the whole day but you will likely see that rain small craft advisory for the boaters and here's your seven day forecast 70s tomorrow then we're down into the upper 60s Monday Tuesday better weather for the second half of the week